I just wanted to <laughs> so today I went to extra training for my new position that I'm gonna talk about soon I just have to get the confirmation before I go into details about that so I went to extra training today and I got a lot of feedback and constructive criticism about like my charting and that kind of stuff so I'm gonna go and practice that right now birthday last year and I hadn't finished my other books so I didn't start this one yet but it's called The Hate You Give. Such a good book. I love it. I'm almost done with it and I started it like a few days ago. i um been doing like 100 pages a day just because I feel like it takes me so long to read books because I just I don't know. I just take so long so my goal with this book even though I think I can't even talk my goal with this book was to finish it in no longer than a week. So I'm almost done. I'm making progress only because it's such a good book. Each chapter, it just gets better and better and you don't want to stop. But, you know, you have to at some point. You have to go to sleep. You have to go to work. You have, like, your priorities. So, yeah, I'm excited to read some more of that. I have, like, anxiety today. Not, like, major where, like, I can't, I have no self-control or anything. I just get these like moments where I feel like I should be further than I'm at like I don't know why I get like that like I'm 23 I feel like I should have everything accomplished right now and realistically that makes no sense so I just get those moments and they just come randomly and it's like what are you doing you don't have it together you need to have this done by this time like I always set a time period for myself and half the time it just never works out and I think that's just God's way of telling me like girl stop planning stuff because it's not gonna work on your timing it's gonna work on my timing and I just forget to acknowledge that and just acknowledge that it's God's plan it's God's timing not mine and what's for me you know he'll provide for me and if it's not for me there's a reason why so I just had to take that into perspective and keep that in mind as I'm going throughout my day and just keep praying that he'll take away my anxiety and that everything is going to work out how it's supposed to he'll you know make provision and everything's going to work out and I woke up early because I was going to go to an extra training before my actual training tomorrow. I just wanted to get a little bit more comfortable with the EMRs and um, just to, I don't know, just brush up on my skills because I'm a little nervous. But um, I woke up early and ended up getting up at like 5.45. I was going to go to the gym first and then Bible study, but the gym was closed. And I just did my Bible study. I waited like like an hour, an hour and a half, just because I didn't want to go back and it, was, it wasn't open. So I ended up going and it was open, so I did a quick lift and then I came back showered and was kind of rushing to get to the hospital, but um, it didn't work out so well. Start my first day, I'm super nervous and I don't want to be nervous, but I am and I just have to admit it because... That would just be bad to pretend I wasn't. Wish me luck. I'm so nervous. I don't need to be like, I know it's going to be okay. I've been praying about it and I know I just feel good like about the position that I'm going to for sure get it. But you just never know. So pray for me. I'm nervous. 
I just ready to get this first day over with low key because I just want to see what I'm going to be doing. I just don't want to mess up. I'm a perfectionist and I just don't want to do bad. So pray for me that I just kill it. I know God's going to be with me and I just want to, you know, take it, you know, take the criticism, take the feedback you know, correct it, that I may, you know, have a better second trial, and so on and so on, so, <sighs> I will see you guys tomorrow. This time. What's up, everybody? So, today was my, so, today was my first day as a medical scribe trainee. And it was everything that I expected to be and a lot more. I knew it was going to be hard. I knew there was going to be a lot of information to jot down. I knew it was going to be a little chaotic because it's the emergency room. I just, I knew, I knew what it was going to be. So, how was it? I really liked it and my trainer said I did a good job that I you know constructed good HPIs and um, my RLS's were correct I needed to work on my impression plan and my medical decision making a little bit more which I'm definitely gonna look over after I go to the gym do my Bible study and study for MCAT I'm gonna look over that tonight and possibly attend a training session for EMR in the morning but this is how my day started. So my session was, my shift time was 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I woke up at 4.30, took a shower. I had everything ready to go. I had my clothes ironed, lunch packed, um, bag ready. Everything was ready. I just needed to shower, groom, and then fill up my water bottle and then leave so I left about five o'clock went to Starbucks went to the emergency room I got there about 30 minutes early so I could find parking find the right parking lot even though there was plenty of parking because it was very early and so I could find the um, room to put my stuff away Hers weren't there yet they, there was just a miscommunication on who was supposed to be at the site. So it started off rocky. However, I did learn a lot. I learned a lot about where rooms are, where information is, where I'm going to be putting some of my stuff after I'm done using it for the chart and etc. I learned a lot of information today and it was very eventful. There was a lot of different cases that I encountered and yeah, it was a really nice stay in the ER for me. Not for my trainee and not for my physician. They had a lot of work. And I felt bad and I offered to stay because I felt bad that they had so much information and I really wanted to help and just get even more familiar with the charting system. I offered to stay and they, you know, they said no because my shift was only 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and they just... They didn't want me to stay, so, I mean, I offered. <laughs> so, yeah. They told me, though, typically, like, you're going to be staying over because of the, the situations that are at hand. You're going to have very critical patients, and, you know, you're going to be assigned to a doctor. So, you get there a little bit before they get there or at the same time, and you're there until they're there. You eat when they eat, so... You guys are like this synchronized together, parallel. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. My physician was super awesome, super nice, super funny. She was really nice and really friendly and really funny in that sort. So it's nice to have somebody like that on your first day of training that you're encountering. So you know not all physicians are that intimidating and scary. It was a good experience with my physician and my trainer was super cool, super nice, super informative and I really appreciate that because now I know what I need to work on when I, you know, even though I'm doing well in it, what I can continue to develop and improve on. So I was very grateful for her and very grateful for her constructive criticism and 
I'm gonna take that all in and praying and hoping I don't hope I just pray that I improve so yeah like I said my shift was 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and I'm just now getting home it's about 2 30 so I'm gonna go to the gym do a Bible study and go over that information no go to the gym do a Bible study study for my MCAT for about and what did I put on there about an hour and a half and then I'm going to review the templates that we received we received these templates during my EMR training and I don't know why why I didn't look at them like that was really stupid so I'm definitely going to review those and um trying to find there we go I'm definitely going to review those and hopefully it helps and it sticks so that um when it comes time to go to my day two of training I'm improving I'm doing better and they're not having to remind me of so many details to get and etc so like I said I'm going to the gym I'm gonna do a bible study do MCAT study and then do scribe study yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed all of that information that I gave you guys about what I will be doing once I finish and get through this training obstacle I will see you guys on what day yeah so I will show you day three of my scribe journey and yeah you guys like my scrubs though I bought these yesterday look they're really big, but I have to get them big because the pants, I have to get them long enough. But I got joggers. Here, I'm going to stay on my bed. Yeah, so I got joggers because why not? They're really cute. They're scrub-like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys tomorrow. We're going to get funky. So yesterday I had a 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. shift, but I didn't really get out until like 9.30, and that was just because we were like waiting for some results, but it was really, it was way better than my first day. That's what the trainer said. He said that he was really impressed with my um, speed and my ability to, you know, catch on to the flow of the ED and a lot of other really good feedback, positive and constructive. So I was really happy because I was like super nervous about the first day that I didn't do as well as I wanted to. He even alerted my trainer from the first day that I did well and she texted me this morning saying that she was so happy to hear about my improvement and she wishes me luck and so that was just super encouraging and I'm super blessed and I'm so thankful. Hey you guys, so I'm off to my shift, I'm actually off to Starbucks and then I'm off to work. I tried to sleep as much as possible, but I don't know. I don't think I did. I don't feel tired, but who knows how I'll feel in a few hours. So I'll see you guys soon.